So today I'm going to show you guys how to clean your NOx sensors. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is soak your NOx sensors for at least 5-6 to six hours. And one of the best products you can use to clean your NOx sensor is an injector cleaner here from Lucas. Since injectors do have carbon inside of them and this does clean the carbon out, so this product is pretty much perfect to use. And the best part about it is that you could use this product on gasoline vehicles and on diesel vehicles. So if you want to use it on O2 sensors or on the NOx sensors for the diesel, you can. Get a water bottle, cut it in half, and then you want to pour it halfway. And eventually you're going to have to use the whole entire bottle because, yeah, as you can see there, it's most likely halfway and the whole entire bottle is already gone. Okay, so from here you want to get your knock sensor. Now just make sure the electric connection does not get wet by the product. Now on your knock sensor, you could get the wires wet, this doesn't really matter. Just make sure the whole entire head of this NOx sensor is completely soaked. On these tiny little holes, that's where the carbon is located at, that's what you want to clean out. Just make sure the whole entire sensor head is soaked in. Now from here, just leave this sensor soaked in for around, I'll say six to seven hours, just to make sure that all the built-in carbon inside the sensor will start to loosen up. This way it'll be easier to clean out. Now I want to get a container here to capture all of the carbon that's inside the NOx sensor. Okay, now just wrap this container in a plastic bag here so that you can see all the carbon that will be inside the NOx sensor. Now the product to clean your NOx sensors is a carbon cleaner here. You could use this to clean your throttle body here and throttle bodies do have carbon inside of them. So this is a perfect product to use to clean your NOx sensors. Now once your NOx sensors have been soaked inside the fuel cleaner for 6-7 to seven hours then you want to take it off and from here you can start by cleaning them. Now you just want to make sure to clean the tiny holes right here on the side of the sensors and on the top hole which is on top of the sensors. This is the part that you need to clean the most. So now I can start by cleaning the sensor from here. As you can see, look at all that dirty carbon that's inside of there. here. Make sure to clean every single hole around the sensor. Now make sure to clean the top of the sensor as well. So as you can see so far, look at all the carbon that was inside of this sensor here. Now once you clean the sensor, then you want to wipe the head off. As you can see, look how dirty the sensor was. Now keep on cleaning the sensor until all the injector product is out of here. You don't want none of that product still inside there after leaving it for 6-7 hours inside. So you want to make sure to get your straw here, make sure to clean every single hole around this sensor, including the top sensor as well. Now once your sensor has been 100% clean, then you want to let it dry for around 8-10 to 10 hours just to make sure that all the product inside of it is dried up. But as you can see there, look how much carbon was inside this sensor here. It was pretty much dirty. I had lots of carbon inside of it as you can see there. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.